What's up, Jumanis? We're going to get another reaction today. We're hopping into Brooklyn Nine Nine, episode thirteen, season number one, called "The Bet." Hopefully, it's a good episode. Hopefully, it's a lot of fun. Hopefully, you guys have been enjoying the series. If you have, like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Patreon for the full reaction. Uncut episodes over there if you want them. If you don't, totally cool. Episodes will be here on YouTube whenever they show up. So, previous episode was the Pontiac Bandit. Um, I thought it was okay. I didn't think it was that funny. I think we mentioned that it wasn't. It didn't have that many funny jokes, right? Right. Craig Robinson didn't really do much mm -hmm. comedy wise. So there wasn't a whole lot to go on. Um, what else? Was there anything that stood out? It was like, like he got away. And they they carried over the Charles thing, didn't they? The Charles butt the thing. The butt thing, yeah. They, Rosa and... Um, Amy? No, no. No, no, that was Rosa and... Uh, Peralta. They, Peralta. Uh, they had their... Oh, yeah, they had that little... Moment where he didn't trust her, or he, he lied to her, essentially. Yeah. Right, 1,000 push-ups. 1,000 push-ups right? thing, yeah. which is pretty cool. So kind of layers that. We know that they were in Academy together, which is cool. I wonder if, well, I wonder if Charles was there, too, with them. Probably not. But yeah, we're going to hop in here. I don't know what the bet is. I'm guessing it's Peralta and Amy, Amy probably. probably. Yeah. So, like, comment, subscribe. Here we go. Charles, this is exciting. Oh, Metal of Valor. Oh, for getting oh, shot metal. in the butt. Nice. Oh! Three, episode, three episodes of this. <laughs> Sergeant Peanut Butter? <laughs> More cheers for the horse. Oh my god. Charles is getting the same medal as a horse. This <laughs> boil was announced first. Because the horse outranks him. This is amazing. <laughs> Not Peralta. The bet they've been keeping score all year. It comes up all the time. Oh, oh the actual bet. bet. The actual okay. bet. Okay. Why? You want to hang out? A year ago today, Peralta and I made a bet to prove who's a better detective. As a date magnet. I mean, how many girls have you made out with in that car? Six. Well, I'm going to win. <laughs> sure. Let's bet the car. Oh, oh no. No, 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 no. What's no. the car? Have we seen this car? Superpower. Thor would right, never wager his hammer. Neil Patrick Harris would never wager his showmanship. Losing that car will be... If Santiago loses, she goes for a date in said car. Game wow. On. Okay. Wow, your handshake is quite firm. I took a seminar. Where? <laughs> but not for long. For an eight hour... Pen. Whoop! Ow! Rolling chair! What the fuck? <laughs> it's like... Children, dude. Captain Hank, Are they all tied up? Though? Looking stoic today. Like yeah, he said that they were tied up. Wise right. old oak. I'm not gonna give you more cases, so you. Up by one, Peralta. Anything you want to say to your car before you never see it again? Oh shit! It's a fucking hey, Santiago, like Camaro or a Mustang. Do you have any dietary? Oh, it's interesting. I'm gonna pretend someone texted me. <laughs> Tina, please keep an eye on Boyle today. Ironic. It's... Anywho, ten more for Peralta. Accept your fate. Never. Oh. Five. Oh no. Four. Yes. Three. We get to see two, the date. One. Jake wins. Amy loses. <laughs> <laughs> He's so stupid. Oh wow, he wrote it hard. <laughs> so he knew, dude. That's why he was chilling. Oh, no. Amy Santiago. You have the worst date ever with me. You have to say yes. <laughs> she said yes. Oh, she said yes. For you. Amy Santiago. Date oh time. God, time to date. Fifty Peralta, bucks. He's got shorts on. Ridiculous. Chop, chop. Shorts. Every girl at every bat mitzvah I ever had a crush on. Let's see the bow. <laughs> Just. No. Yes. yes. <laughs> right, right, right. Do it. We're not very expensive. The cargo shorts. You know the rules. I thought they were gonna be different shorts. Midnight, I decide what. What if it is though? Oh, what if she falls from? Ooh, that'd be interesting. Detective Boyle, I just wanted to say congratulations. I've gotten zero medals. Right, well nobody. I've said like Thank maybe that might happen Your with um, Rosa Charles, and somebody. Can I speak with you? He should have been up there with Detective Boyle today. What for? For <laughs> saving my life. <laughs> he means metaphorically. Yeah, you know, <laughs> saving him from all that paperwork. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's us. In the field. Oh, I've caused a problem. <laughs> it's I like a robot. I am. I've caused a problem. Getting a text message. <laughs> <laughs> Attention, everyone. Now I it know makes sense that tonight is Boyle's big night. Yeah. Yeah. But let's forget about that completely for a moment <laughs> and admire and comment on everything. First of three, use them wisely. Wow, really? <laughs> <laughs> Congrats. Santiago, Santiago, 
They'll sing to her at midnight in the middle of Times Square. Straight up insanity. How much did you spend on tonight? Fourteen hundred dollars, but all of it's on <laughs> credit cards, so it's like five dollars a month for the next two thousand years. I do not like Amy. <laughs> You're putting a lot of effort into a joke. Why don't you just sit? Have you seen Rosa? Rosa died eight years ago. <laughs> what the? <laughs> Get you a drink. Uh, what a excuse ghost me, the whole time. Santiago and I will be preparing. The lady. All oh, the dance that they do in the middle. Yeah. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Do the spitty. I hate your Do the spit. Channel that passion into the dance. <laughs> Peralta. It's got like tag in. Do you need a tag in? No, not even if it would cure cancer. Okay. J Damn. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> oh, doing a solo. Got it. Said not even if it were cu would cure cancer. Shit. Oh, no. Oh, Very sick. Hey, this. Fuck. I think you two need to get your story straight. Damn it. He's like, I've made a mistake. <laughs> Perhaps I should stop talking to your wife that's a good call yeah. <laughs> sure now you cooking meth you breaking bad how many You're phones do bad? you have <laughs> <laughs> I need to clarify something i said earlier oh, no sergeant jeffords was correct when he said that his you didn't have your vest on oh no <laughs> oh, goodness. i should have said that i feel i may have made things oh worse. no wait i can fix this right oh now wait he does the truth time, hush bro. i want to hear this we love your husband He's a great cop. We will do anything to protect him. And you have incredibly attractive hands. And you keep anything from this beautiful woman again. Seriously, you are beautiful. Uh. If he ever lies to you again, you can call me. <laughs> if you ever keep anything from me again, I will leave you for this short, earnest man in his ex-wife's new boyfriend's apartment. It does it? It is super scary up here. Hey, we <laughs> grab the binoculars. They're in my stakeout bag. Exactly. Roll up. The car's a piece of crap. Why do you love it so much? Oh, that car looks awesome on the outside. You really want to know? I was two days out of the academy, super nervous. Saw this guy. Nice. They are vibing right Ready? now. I was going to say, this is like the first time, though. <laughs> uh oh. They what might actually doing? like each other. You trying to catch it in your nose? I'm snacky. <laughs> All right, fine. Darling, what are the odds that his car gets messed up? Make you happy? Excuse know. me, sir. Oh, we're kind of busy here. Yeah, my girl. I wonder what he actually wants to tell her. Hey, I need to talk to you. Well, it's for you. Okay, let's do this. I think you're sweet. How do you know it was you? When was I jumped Jake? in front of those bullets, I didn't know who I was protecting. Uh oh. I just saw a gun and an NYPD vest, and so I dove on it. When you finally go out with me, and you will. It'll be because I do things that only Charles Foyle would. Delivery from Jake Peralta to say Come thanks on. for last Please. night. Yes. Oh, no. I forgot to cancel. Yes. <laughs> Sir, you don't. Aren't we all going to? No. no? <laughs> Not a doctor. Oh, my God, dude. Hitchcock. From oh, wow. This episode was interesting. Like, I've never gotten the vibe that they actually liked each other. I thought it was more like a <clears throat> work rivalry. Right. But now it's like this episode gave us vibes that they both. Maybe not her. Definitely him, though, right? I mean, I guess, I guess what Boyle said with the whole kind of kindergarten yeah, picking approach, on picking yeah. on and stuff. But doesn't she pick on him too? But that but it's mean, more is it more of a guy to is, a girl is it, thing? Well, is it more like that he picks and she just retaliates? Oh, that could be. But I'm more, I'm more saying like this he, is the first. Yeah, he chose to stay on that, right? He said the line, the way that he said the line, I want to see where this goes. Mm -hmm. He was talking about her and him. Not. Right. And then her reaction when I got told at the end wasn't upset, really. Like, it's more like a, huh. like a, like a, I don't know, like a small smirk kind of, huh? Like, right. So, but also her, her intentions when she got the car weren't to, they were to fuck blow it up. It was to fuck it up, but it wasn't to, <laughs> yeah. it wasn't to blow it up. Oh, well, that's interesting. I wonder if that's where they go. Um, what's a show that's like kind of done that comedy wise? Oh, I couldn't tell you because I've always gotten vibes of certain, yeah, certain shows with the the lead. Yeah, because how many a mother were out the gate, Ted, you know, Robin, right? Right out the gate, friend, same thing. But I also had the same vibe with Nick and Jess. I know it's not as. As I guess that would be the closest thing. That would be the thing. closest thing, but because I Because she was dating, Nick was in his whole thing. Right. But there was never any... Yeah, I guess that would that be, would the, be closest the closest thing. 
Because in um in parks there is no guy until later seasons where mm-hmm. he shows up. I guess no, because even um what's uh one uh girl's name secretary of uh, the assistant from parks. A- April. April. April and Andy. Andy, right? But she's always she always kind of had a crush on him first. Right. Oh, so okay. I see what you're saying. That. I'm okay. trying to think of like where they like where you're like, oh, I got no vibes. Yeah. And then that. I guess the I, next I think my only thing would be because with New Girl, they could have been like they could have gone the route of Schmidt if they would have kept the Schmidt from season one. <laughs> right. Right. Schmidt, right. But they kind of abandoned that. Um. So yeah, I don't know. I'm interested to see where this goes. Mm-hmm. I thought Boyle stuff was actually really good. Yeah. yeah in there with um. Well, all the all him at the end with him since he had confidence. Told Rosa. Actually, was happening, which I thought was cool. So she was avoiding him because she she felt she owed him. She, uh, okay. Because he saves he saves her life because he's in quote unquote in love. Right. But his line of, I I just saw the NYP back in the good work. So he was like, "You don't have to be nice." I would have done it for anybody, which is a cool thing. Yeah. Um. He showed confidence. I like that he was like, "I want you when I want it when." I want when you go on a date with me for it to be something that Boyle would be, not any cop would be. Right. Cool line for him to say. He had confidence there. Uh, the Terry stuff is funny. Was that the first time we've seen his wife? I don't recall seeing her. He's always mentioned like her, something. But right, because if we would have seen her, you would have think that Captain would. Yeah, that's true. That's true. That's true. I think I, it was the first time we've Yeah, introduced. we've actually seen her, and yeah, Terry with the whole lying and stuff. And I actually thought Holt was actually really funny with the... Coming in, coming on like a robot, like, oh, I appear to have made a mistake. Right. <laughs> like, <laughs> that's like, the, I mean, that's his humor for me, though. Yeah. It's like, how he takes any moment and it's always a serious, but I like. But like that moment where he, <laughs> it just sounded like he, he sounded like a robot, like a, so it's a robot. Um, I thought that was cool. So we got some character stuff there. So do you think this, so it's guaranteed that Rose is going to go on a date with Boyle, right? Like they're planning that, like it's, Confident about it. He is confident about it. Now, the question it. is, will it, I don't see the date going well or going where she, like, falls for him. Like, no part of me thinks Rosa will fall for Boyle. Right. I mean, she's always mentioned a boyfriend, too. Is it that just would be a, a twist. Though. Right. Yeah, she always does mention the boyfriend. We've she always didn't mention kinda, her, though. No, she didn't. But we've always kind of, I mean, at least I've always felt. There might be a lie. That might be, like, a bluff. Maybe. To keep guys away from her. Yeah, maybe. But then, that would be That would be the twist from hell, though. She actually likes him. She actually likes Boyle. I don't think she likes anybody. Um, so I thought that was cool. We found out what the car means to um, Jake. The bet? The bet's finally done. The bet's with. over. Right. Shit. It was always in the background, so I wonder if we're going to see that number anymore. Right, because also they brought it back as if they thought that the viewers forgot about it, which yeah, I we, did for a brief moment. Well, yeah, yet. I mean, it wasn't like in the top, but you always saw them. Every, every couple episodes, like, oh, yeah, the number's up. We'll right. mention that. So, yeah. Because the they number. started doing, like, the flashbacks of, like, um, them talking about the bet. Yeah. Stuff like that. So that's cool. We figured out what the actual bet was. We never knew what the bet actually we, was. Yeah, we didn't know the um, result. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I I would be intrigued if they actually make this work. They date. I guess it's the right. I'm, <laughs> this show has, like, seven seasons. It could be the route of we won't, they won't actually push anything. But then in this one, it's like there's no... They're not dating anybody, either one of them. Usually it's like, and, for, and New Girls, like Jess was dating somebody or Nick was dating somebody. Right. Here's right. like, they're both single. Like, really no romance. In this show, yeah. In this show. Yeah. You have Boyle liking Rosa, but. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. It's been the only thing. So I had a good episode. I liked it. I thought it was fun. Um, but hopefully you guys enjoyed it. We're going to get out of here, and we'll talk to you guys later.